just worrying about today. And today I feel good and I'm ready to go um, when the season starts. Well, what are your thoughts on Terrence in the starting lineup? Obviously, you've been, him with, been with him for a while now. Just what are your thoughts on what he can bring to that starting group? Um, we've seen it before. Um, you know, what he could bring to that starting unit. Uh, he did a great job with us last year, uh, filling that uh, point guard role, uh, just um, being in that starting lineup. And, um, you know, the same thing is uh, expected from him uh, to come in and, you know, play defense, uh, knock down shots, and. Uh, just be aggressive and confident throughout the whole entire game. I think years past you mentioned that seasons are long and that even good teams go through these periods where you might be going through darkness like a tunnel and you have to get through those moments. And Russell, I'm reminded of that because Russell said that developing a top mindset, a top mindset was one of the things he wanted to see most during this preseason. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of where this team's this mindset is for making a long run like that? Um, no. This is, you never know, like I said before, uh, until you get, you know, get these games going and, and seeing how people are reacting and um, how the coaches are reacting. And um, then from there, uh, you get a sense of what you need to do at that time to improve as a team. Kawhi, what do you think were the key parts of your off-season rehab to get to the point where you do feel good and earn the season? Um, I think last year, came off of ACL, so pretty much just, like I said last year, it's like a two-year process of talking to guys and seeing, um, you know, when they do start feeling good or just, uh, you know, trusting in me, and um, it's just something that you feel, and I mean, you know, one day uh, it just turns around for you, so uh, it wasn't really nothing too different. Um, like I said, I stayed to my same routine, um, yeah, so. Did that, did that day that you said that it turns around, did it already come for you? Yeah, man, I'm saying I feel good, right? When you look at uh, last season for you, ramping up the way that you did the last couple of months and, and into the postseason, the way that you were playing, does that give you like a little bit more confidence internally on how you came back, that you were able to get to that level as quick as you did? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't a, about just performance and putting up numbers. It's like I've been saying, it's about just how your overall body's feeling at the time. And, um, you know, uh, I, I felt like I was still trying to, you know, get through some humps um, and just get healthy. But, um, you know, I was able to, like you said, show, uh, you know, fans or, uh, you know, other players in the league and myself that I was able to, you know, play at a high level. So, so for you, it's not so much the on the court that gives you the confidence. It's it's just the off the court and how your body feels at that specific time. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, on court stuff, uh, you're going to have ups and downs. Um, if you're rating a game off of missed shots or minutes played, uh, it's tough. Um, you know, try to to try to I guess measure yourself to you know being a great player, but. Um, at that point, I was just trying to get healthy, um, you know, just, just trying to move and, um, you know, I knew numbers would come. Um, I wasn't really focused on that at the time, trying to win games. That's, that's what I'm focused on. So, um, you know, as the season went on, uh, I was able to get minutes and make shots and, you know, the rhythm came and kept going from there. Well, I wanted to ask about a move that we saw in the playoffs, saw in the preseason where you'll pick up your dribble. It's, it feels like an extra step, but you've got it down to where you take that step towards the basket and get like a floater or something like that. Like, how did you develop your footwork or what did you kind of understand about the rules about the zero step or, or where your pivot is to take advantage of where you're at on the court? Um, you know, just playing, just playing over the years, uh, taking that extra step and um, just learning that you could pick up the back foot, and but you got to pass or shoot the ball. So uh, just from there, uh, my pin stepping through and shooting is just uh, me learning that you could pick up the back foot when I when you do step through. Where, where, when did you get to the point where like is that something that you just kind of look at other players do, or do you? Because I don't really see anybody else who would do that move the way you're doing it. Um, as much or as effectively? Uh, 
I mean, I guess just watching uh, watching film on myself, um, and then like I said, just just talking. Um, I think a lot of WNBA players do it. I thought it was just a, a WNBA role at first, but um, like I said, I realized that you could pick up that back foot. Um, when, you, when you look at the, the, the three-point shooting in this preseason, um, hasn't been probably where you wanted it. I'm, I'm curious what your, what your concern and what your thoughts on, on, on the, the looks that you've gotten and then three-point percentage. I know you look at the season as a whole, but so far it's been kind of low in the preseason. Uh, as a team? Yeah. Um, I think it's just rhythm. Um, obviously, um, I mean, we'll see once it's like 20 games in or so. Uh, once guys start getting that rhythm and knowing we're playing every day and also training camp, um, you know, some we might not have our legs under us. Uh, and, you know, that's just, just another rhythm thing of getting your legs stronger and knowing when you're going to get shot. So I think it's going to come. You know, some of the games we play, we practice hard before. Um, you know, long, like two or three hours. So it's not, it's not going to be like that during season since we're going to be playing two or three hour games um, every other day. All right, last question. Right. You, you, Seattle, um, Ty said that you've spoken up in some huddles about the guy, guys who need to know the plays. Um, in the last couple of weeks since that second preseason game, where you've been encouraged by just sort of the no overall knowledge of the offense throughout the team? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, just. Uh, Telling the guys, um, like most of us being here, so we should know what we're doing. But like I said, it, like I've just been saying, it's about uh, playing games and getting a rhythm. But I felt like uh, since then we've gotten better and uh, we're still knowing the plays now. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Let's get ready for hoop jab.